Hello everyone, this is Gear Up coming to you from the Venom Fang X channel. Today is a most remarkable day. I have stumbled upon the eighth wonder of the world. Her name is Ida, she's 47 million years old, and you're looking at one of our ancestors. She is, according to scientists, a direct relative. This is the presupposition here that evolution is correct, regardless of all the facts. Evolution, you go in to look for transitional creatures, and, and, and if you look hard enough, you'll find a transitional creature because you spin it to be a transitional creature. Just because it has thumbs, like ours, doesn't mean it's, it's, it's related to us. I mean, the, the designer who created the thumb, wouldn't you think he would give Ida... Ida a thumb in order to climb trees like she's supposed to? She's a lemur. Okay, now get a load of this. I want you to be aware of neuro-linguistic programming here. So when you look at this picture, and this picture does not look like a human foot in any way, okay? This is so different from a human foot. Human foots don't have these long finger uh, bones here, these long toe bones, and this thumb off to the side. This is primate stuff, okay? This is hanging from your feet, okay? Hanging from your feet. That's why God gave this little creature a thumb on its foot. Now pay attention to what he says here. With human characteristics. Human characteristics. So in other words, you look at something that is totally opposite of human, but then they tell you it has human characteristics and you're supposed to buy it. That's called neuro-linguistic programming. Either will help us look. And then bring in the experts. Okay, right after the big lie, you bring in the expert. He, and, and remember, a doctor. Okay, with a foreign accent. Anytime you have a doctor with a foreign accent, you know they're telling you the truth, right? Missing link. The primate that's at the root of our creation. And this is she. Now people can say, okay, you say we're, we're, we're primates, like monkeys and apes, uh, and that we came from very uh, simple, generalized uh, mammals. Show us the link. The link, they would have said, until now, is missing. Did you hear that? The link until now is missing? You know, see, this is what I've been saying for for years, that the atheists um, are standing on a, a sinking sand. Their links are not links at all, and neither is this one. But he seems to think that it is a link. It's a link because it's got a thumb and thumbnails. Just because it's got thumbnails doesn't mean it's a link. You know, just because it's got eyes doesn't mean it's, it's our relative. It's got teeth doesn't mean it's related to us. It, what it means is that there's a common designer. There is one designer for all of us. He designed all living things, including time and space. So it's just that simple. This is just pure propaganda. This is nothing more than a well-orchestrated sale of a movie and a pitch, a godless, atheistic, worldview pitch. This find was found in 1983 and hung on the wall. And some guy stumbles on it and then hides it for two years while they secretly prepare it for the mass media blitz. Like a Darren Brown uh, movie. They're going to prepare it, write the script, and then, bam, hit the public with it and sell books, T-shirts, and movies, and DVDs, and sell tickets to, to go see this thing. This is a money-making venture here. This is money-making venture. And you atheists out there, you, you, you make an issue out of people of faith actually selling uh, a particular a DVD or something or, or, or asking for donations for their ministry. And look at this ministry. This ministry of natural selection, this ministry of propaganda, and they're making you buy it. And you're going to have to sit down and watch this show on TV with all of its propaganda and it's all of its media attention and all of its commercialization. You're going to have to endure the commercials to get a hold of this. Incredibly, Ida was found 20 years ago, mounted and kept on a wall as artwork. Yeah. Norwegian paleontologist Jorn Hurum met a deal with a promise of something special. 
the asking price a million dollars. <laughs> this is the moment he cast eyes on the anthropological equivalent of the Holy Grail. Oh. This is the best oh. fossil and rarest fossil worldwide. The anthropological equivalent to the Holy Grail? The Holy Grail. I mean, I've been saying in my videos that atheism, natural selection, naturally, natural humanism, this whole evolutionary schema has become a church. It's become a religion. They have, they have literally building a church of humanism out of this. And this is their holy relic. They, these are holy relics. Okay, it's under glass, and you can go and worship this thing. You go and gaze upon it, and look at your ancestry. Look at your ancestors. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You're named her after his daughter. Oh. <laughs> Meeting in secret over two years. Two-year period, they've been scrutinizing this, and picking at it, and, 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 and possibly, possibly altering it, because... These people are selling you a product. I mean, they're selling you. They're selling you on an idea here. Okay, and there are no peer reviews, no peer reviews. Just bam, media blitz. Is this how science is done? Is it? Uh, this is how scams are done. The oldest and most complete primate fossil ever found. They could sample her bone marrow, even test. Her last meal. Even test her last meal. Even test her last meal. You've tested it and found out it was she was eating nuts and berries. Nuts and berries. Yes, her and all the other little creatures that were found alongside her. But they never tell you that that they found creatures alongside her, like, like, bugs and beetles and frogs and bats, all alive today. That's right, in the same strata. But they never mention that. So the bugs that we have today match the bugs that have been encased in, 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 in sedimentary layers. And, and the, same, the same frogs that we have today are found in the same area that this lemur was found. They never mention that. I mean, what we have here is a lemur. That's it. It's all. That's all it is. It's a. It's a lemur. And how do they come up with this? This. She transformed herself. She made a conscious decision, and she broke a femur, and she ate nuts and berries before she laid her life down for preservation. She. She breathed in carbon dioxide and then fell into the pool in a in a drunken gaseous stupor and then slowly fell to the bottom of the lake and then millions of years sediment layers developed a, a protective cushion over her body and she and she was preserved actually what we see here is we see a lemur that is wonderfully preserved wonderfully preserved with with the contents of her stomach this is a testament to the rapid burial mechanism and the, 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 the fact that the Bible is true. The Bible is true. Fossils, fossils are a testament to the great flood. Every time you see a fossil, what you're seeing is rapid burial. Rapid burial lines up with the biblical model of Noah's flood, or the great deluge. Some of the most significant fossil finds have come from this lake, but nothing compares with Eden. The link with our past, perhaps the beginning of the story of our development. She could rewrite science. She could confirm Darwinian theory and debunk creationism. She could also question religion itself. There you have it. She could debunk religion itself. That's what this is all about. It's about debunking religion. You see, that's what science now has become. It's become a, a juggernaut to debunk religion itself. It could rewrite history. You see, that's what Darwinian evolutionists really want to do, is they want to relegate um, historical writings, such as Holy Writ, to fiction and then replace it with uh, their new history, the history of mankind, which they're 
concocting now through mass deception and in, 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 in fossil finds such as this one because it's got thumbs and fingernails that match ours that look similar then therefore uh, religion is no longer viable. Thank you.